Warning, do not attempt to move on to the next step before you are confident, comfortable, and relaxed with the previous step. I prescribe practicing three days a week for maximum results. Hey, welcome to Swimology. I'm the Swim Doctor. We're gonna be talking about how to do the freestyle arm stroke today, okay? Now, um, I'm gonna be going over how to do the arm stroke and some common mistakes that I see with a lot of new swimmers. So let's get to it. Okay, so how to do the arm stroke. What we're gonna do is you're gonna put both arms out straight in front of you while you're floating. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your arms to pull back. So you don't wanna keep your arms stiff the whole time, okay? You want to do a pullback motion and then a push at the end. Make sure your arm goes from all the way out in front of you to all the way back, okay? You wanna get that full rotation. Now your arm isn't what's gonna be pushing you forward in the water. It's actually gonna be the palm of your hand, okay? So this part right here, you wanna make sure that you're keeping it pointed back the entire time you're pulling. Okay, so another common problem I see is a lot of people's uh, shoulders are way too stiff. And what I mean by that is your whole body isn't moving side to side when you're doing your freestyle stroke, okay? so. Uh, you're gonna be reaching your arm all the way out front and doing that you notice how my body turns sideways when I do that so you want to your whole body is gonna turn sideways and that's what you want you want your body moving side to side as your each arm is doing a stroke so what I see with a lot of beginners is um, their torso is moving side to side, but their legs aren't moving side to side. So you gotta make sure that both your torso and your legs are moving side to side. That means your kicks are gonna be going side to side when you're kicking. So whole body is moving. Um, the reason why is it's not a natural position for your body. If I turn my body sideways while my legs are still pointing forward, that's pretty uncomfortable. So, um, the whole, like I said, the whole thing with being in the water is you want to be feeling comfortable and um, the, the water's not going to react to your body being uncomfortable and stiff. So the more relaxed you are, the more everything flows, the better you're going to float or the better you're going to swim, <laughs> obviously. Now, if you have any other questions about what your arms should be doing, what your legs should be doing, or how to float, make sure you leave it down in the comments. Make sure you like the video if this helped you out or someone else out, whoever sees this video. Um, and I hope you're going step by step and you're not trying to do everything at the same time. Make sure that you are doing one thing at a time until it becomes muscle memory before you move on. Biggest mistake I see with most new swimmers. So make sure you're doing that. Um, and that's a wrap. Uh, all right, have fun learning how to swim, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.